Um, I want to thank everybody for uh, participating today and taking some time uh, to share with us. I know you're all very busy, and so we are always very, very thrilled um, when, when business owners take a little bit of time out of their day uh, to, um, to join with us um, in something I hope will be really beneficial to you. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about the Entrepreneur Training Program, uh, which is um, a program that we have that's powered by the University of Phoenix. And what we've done is rather than put people through a series of different uh, kinds of courses where it's sort of, it can be sort of a, a long and, and stretched out thing, um, we've tried to identify those courses that we believe are most pertinent to business owners to do a couple of things. Um, to either help you in, in your strategic planning for your business, um, to help you identify uh, new um, business opportunities and leverage new marketing strategies and technologies to help you increase your revenue. And then if you are looking for financing or um, investment capital to help you be able to put together um, a great cash flow statement as well as financial statements that will be really, really essential to you being able uh, to win um, uh, those opportunities. Um, so with that, um, I'm going to I'm going to uh, be sharing this presentation with you. Um, I'd ask that um, everybody hold their questions to the end. I'm, I don't want to toggle in between because there's a, uh, some really great information in here. I want to make sure that you get all of it. And I am more than happy to spend as much time as needed answering questions um, that you have. So with that, we'll get started. I'm going to go over a few things with you today, um, really just a quick overview of the program, um, how we've engaged the model around the program, um, an overview of the content, um, as well as the fee structure. So we always say um, that failure to plan is planning to fail. Um, as business owners, um, it's always essential for us to be able to stay on top of what's going on uh, with our businesses. Um, and although, you know, we get caught up a lot of times with just a number of things coming at you because sometimes you're, uh, you know, you're doing everything to sort of make your business, um, have your business keep moving. It really is essential to be able to plan. Um, planning really enables you to identify your goals of what you want to reach, and it helps you take a step back uh, to be able to really examine where your business is, have you think about where you want it to go, and then put in place those things that are going to help you get there. But you can't do that unless you really take some time. Um, and we advise that when you just sort of a, a address things as they're coming along, you're really not staying out in the forefront um, of your business and, and what new opportunities might be um, available to you. So um, with that, 29 billion businesses um, are in the US and 500,000 businesses start each year. And so as you can see, there's a great entrepreneurial spirit um, in the country, um, particularly among uh, black and minority owned businesses. Um, and so we wanna be able to encourage you to, to um, to continue your path um, to build wealth um, as part of what you're doing. Um, but just know that um, you, know, you are part of this new wave of businesses um, that are out there every year. Usually funding is raised um, when you start your business. For most of us, we've capitalized our businesses um, with um, just our own money. Um, as you can see from this graph, um, most money is coming from you know, your own personal finances. You've got some money that might be coming from friends and family. Um, and then you don't really see us being able to kick into things like bank loans or um, investment capital um, until, very, until later on uh, in a, the stage of our growth. And so it's really, really, really essential that we are able to maybe flip that a little bit um, so that we're able to really gain a lot more uh, capital and leverage that capital to be able to grow in size and scale. And so in order to help you do that, we partnered with the, the U.S. Black Chambers partnered with the University of Phoenix um, to help uh, provide access to capital. Um, and we're doing this through um, an educational opportunity that let you um, take courses um, around uh, cash flow management, market analyses, and financial performance. And as I mentioned earlier, you have an opportunity to take one course 
um, or uh, you can take the series of all three courses together. Um, and that is um, really a great opportunity to be able to do that. All the courses are online and our goal is to really help you to gain a greater access to capital via financial institutions in our microloan program and to invest in your own financial acumen, acumen as you gain confidence to be able to really talk through um, with any lender or anyone uh, who might be looking to um, partner with you in your business or pur purchase your business or looking for joint venture opportunities that you can really talk with a lot of confidence around uh, your business decisions and your growth strategies. And then finally, you can create a feasibility plan. Again, this idea of planning to be able to help you grow your business in size and scale. And the reason we want you to do this, because there is a stat out here that 40% of new business, new small businesses fail within two years. So if you're not a new business and you've made it through your two year mark, congratulations, you really are on your way. Um, but for all of us, we really do need to invest in planning and invest in ourselves in order to move our businesses forward. Why do you want to invest in yourself? Well, um, it's important for you to gain the skills and the expertise that you need that helps you become more competitive as a business. And ultimately, what do we all want to do? We want to win contracts. And so a lot of times what happens is that we'll have an idea, but we sort of struggle with how do we make that idea profitable? And this, these courses that we're talking about are going to help you be able to take your idea, be able to analyze what it looks like financially, and then ultimately convert that into dollars and revenue for your business. Um, what help is usually most needed for businesses? Um, well, usually um, businesses need help with their, with their ideas. About 15% of businesses need that. They usually need help with the business plan. As you can see, most businesses, need, about 89% of businesses need that help. Um, they also need help with raising funds and help with their financials. And so what we've decided to do with this program is to be able to address all of those things with these courses that we're talking about. So here's an idea of what the course structure looks like. There is There are three courses, as I mentioned. Um, you can take one at a time if you want. You might decide, you know what, I'm really interested in being able to gain new customers. And so I just wouldn't really want to take the marketing course because that's going to help me, you know, evaluate what opportunities are out there, figure out how I demonstrate and create value for my business, help me pull together a great advertising strategy, and develop effective pricing so that I can compete uh, more readily in the marketplace. Or you could decide that, you know what, I really want to be able to focus on my business and be able to become more efficient um, in my business, which could allow me to either, you know, reduce expenses, be able to identify new opportunities, um, be able to uh, create a strategic plan uh, for how I'm going to move from, say, $100,000 to a $1 million. Um, I think we all want to be able to become um, multi-million dollar businesses. And so a management course is a way to do that. And then finally, the financial course helps you really get a really keen idea and build your confidence in being able to talk very, very effectively about your business and about your business finances. So whether that's the budgeting process, whether you're forecasting business, whether you're looking at cash flow management so you can determine how your money is coming in, what, what you're spending it on that's taking it out, can you reduce those trends to be able to keep more of that cash flow? Because ultimately, um, you want to be able to manage your cash flow in a way that's going to allow you to either bring on new employees when you need to, maybe invest in some technology if needed, um, maybe buy a building or maybe buy equipment. And so you want to be able to understand how all of that is working together. And so the financial program helps you address your funding um, needs, debt management, cash flow management, and really gives you, again, that confidence to speak about the financial um, side of your business much more um, efficiently and effectively. So this is how it works. Um, we usually kick it off with um, an, an online engagement um, call um, that is uh, typically someone from the US Black Chambers is on the line. Um, we talk about the program. We invite our lending partners to be able to uh, talk to you about what they do, how they can best help you, and then any technical assistance providers that we have, we invite them to join uh, the call as well. 
our goal here is to make sure that we're giving you all the resources that you need, that you have people that you can reach out to. So whether it's if it's a potential credit issue, we've got uh, nonprofit credit counselors that we can leverage um, that don't cost you anything and can help you be able to rectify any issues that you might have from a personal perspective, you know, on your credit report. Or um, if you're really just trying to put together maybe a, a you know a cash flow statement, we've got technical assistance providers. Um, whether they're small business development centers or MBDA centers or even our own chambers that can help um, with that as well. Um, and so we want to be able to sort of share that initially on the call before you get going with your classes. As I mentioned, these are the three classes. So the, there's the, man, the business management class, um, there's the marketing class, and there's the financial uh, statement preparation class. And all of those classes are five weeks. They're all online. Um, those are, are directed by the University of Phoenix. And so you have a professor in the School of Business who is really helping you um, through each of these classes. You're uh, able to um, access uh, the libraries at the University of Phoenix, um, a lot of other resources that you're going to need. Um, but it really is um, beneficial to really have the kind of support that we're getting from uh, the university professors um, in this space. And then finally, um, you can come out again with just you know what you might have needed for the one course, or if you decided to take the three course option, um, you can then apply for a loan through our program. And again, we have uh, a couple of lenders who are um, able to provide you know financing. Um, you would be presenting them with your feasibility plan, um, and to take advantage of that, what we'd love for you to do is become a member of one of our local chambers. Um, because again, you're able to reconnect with the resources that we've put together locally to help you be successful. The other thing that happens through the, during the program is that you have free access to something called Live Plan. And Live Plan is, um, is a software that enables you to create your feasibility plan. Um, so during the five week course of the program, you have access to that. Um, even if you want to continue to have access, I believe it's only about a $20 uh, monthly charge. So you can leverage that, um, leverage live plan. Either way, um, if you're able to create, you know, whatever plan uh, coming out of either each of the individual courses or the three course program, you're able to download that and you're able to keep that for yourself. A little bit about the fee structure. Um, a single class um, is uh, $400. So if you take the management class, that class will cost $400. Um, it's instructor led, as I mentioned. Um, you get use of the online business software for three months. Um, you have online class delivery, you have online textbooks, and you have access to University of Phoenix's library and their online resources. Um, typically, um, Courses cost a little bit more at the University of Phoenix, but as part of this program, they've reduced it for us. And so that $400 fee per class is a reduction over what you would generally pay if you went to University of Phoenix on your own. If you take all three classes, as you can see, you're getting a $200 reduction overall. Um, and you get all the same resources, but you get the benefit of coming out of it with a full feasibility plan at the end that you can leverage for financing. If you're interested in the program, um, it is um, available um, online for you to register at usbctraining.eventbrite.com. Um, you can also call us um, uh, by phone to get more information about the program at 800-76-7656. Um, or you can visit usblackchambers.org. Uh, um, click on programs and then scroll down to uh, the entrepreneur training program and uh, get an understanding of what the, what's, um, what the program entails from um, the site as well. So um, we're looking forward um, to, uh, to serving you. We're hoping that this is something that would be of great interest to you. We certainly encourage you to tell you know, any other uh, business owners um, about this opportunity. We feel it's a real game changer in really helping to um, reduce you know, things that we hear a lot of times from our banks and from our other partners. 
um, relative to businesses that they feel aren't prepared for financing. This is going to get you there if you're looking for that. If you're not looking for financing, it's going to get you to a place where if you wanted to joint venture with someone or you wanted to be able to grow your business, you're going to be able to do that much more effectively by participating in the program. So with that, um, I'm going to take some questions um, and I'm just I'm going to just going to toggle back to the other screen. So here I am, uh, everybody, and uh, please feel free, um, you know, using your chat function to ask me any questions um, about what you've heard. Um, I'm here to um, to give you any counsel or any advice. Um, we're, you know, at the U.S. Black Chambers, we do this uh, every day in terms of helping um, our clients be able to gain uh, access to either entrepreneurial training or um, uh, access to capital. Um, Hi, I see Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. How are you? Do you have a question? So Jimmy, I see your question. Um, are you looking to uh, to take on new routes? Are you looking to move into um, expansion of the industries that you're serving? Um, uh, what is it that you'd like to do? Great. Um, so I think definitely um, Leveraging the uh, either the management course or the marketing course is going to help you be able to do that. Um, one of the things that I'm not sure if you're um, what what industries you service right now, um, but so I'm glad you're talking about getting bonded. So one of the other things that we do at the U.S. Black Chambers for everyone to know in terms of our programs that we offer is that we are um, we. We are a small business transportation resource center um, with the Department of Transportation. And uh, twice a year, we offer a bonding education program. Um, that gives us opportunity to connect you with prime contractors who are working on uh, large major DOT projects, highway projects, uh, other construction projects um, around either our highways, um, our airports, um, the train system, um, you know, whatever is is under the auspices of, of DOT. And so I think this would be a great opportunity for you to participate in that. Um, we usually have a bonding education class in the fall. Um, so if you need to get um, need information about that, uh, feel free to, you can email me and I'm happy to uh, connect you with those resources. You can also find out more about our program at, uh, and I'm going to type it for everybody, usbcfoundation.org. Um, and if you go to um, the uh, capital SBTRC and fill out our intake program, uh, our intake form, um, we can get you started on your way. Any other questions? But I think definitely, Jimmy, I think, you know, either uh, the marketing course would be a great course for you um, to register for. Um, our classes are going to start, um, as I said, um, August 15th. So there's a great window right now. Um, if you go on to USBC. Uh, training.eventbrite.com, um, and I'll type that for you so you have that. And, um, you know, just uh, sign up for one of the classes today. So, Jimmy, based on your question, I think the management class is probably um, what you need to take as well. Additionally, if you need some assistance um, from a legal uh, structure standpoint, um, you can reach out to us at the U.S. Black Chambers and we can help you uh, with that as well and connect you to some pro bono legal services. All right, there's a question in the question tab.
Okay, Martin. Hi, Martin. I see your question. Um, let's see. So what, uh, what area are you in? Martin is looking for a black chamber of commerce in his area. Southwest Florida, okay. We do, I know we do have some chambers um, in Florida. Um, I, here's what I would recommend. Um, we have some regional um, uh, directors. Um, we have six regional directors around the country within the USBC. And they're the ones who are responsible for helping you pull together um, Lee County, uh, helping you pull together a chamber if you want to start one uh, in, your, in your market. Um, so I definitely, if you can email me um, at elisa at usblackchambers.org, um, with your information, Martin, I'd be more than happy to connect you with one of our regional um, directors. One of the things we do at the U.S. Black Chambers is we have a school of chamber management. Um, so as we're talking about, you know, the, the types of financial programs that we have, um, every year we just had our annual conference uh, in June. Every year we have an annual conference for business and chamber develop chamber leaders. And we focus on chamber development as one of our pillars um, within, within the U.S. Black Chamber. So certainly, uh, Martin, we'd be more than happy to really uh, connect with you um, and really figure out, you know, what your interest is and what and provide you with the tools and what you need to do to be able to start a chamber uh, in Lee County. Any other questions? Okay. Oh, you're welcome, Martin. You're so welcome for the information, and Jimmy as well. Um, please don't be shy. I'm, you know, we've got the hour, so I'm more than happy to, you know, provide you with whatever information that you need. And certainly, we will have. Um, this is recorded, and so we'll be able to share. Um, the information with you um, and anyone who registered who didn't have an opportunity to join today um, so that you have it for your reference. Thanks, Jimmy. Yeah, um, on the defense contracting side, um, I do know that, um, as, as all of you know, um, the administration right now um, has been putting a lot of money into into defense. And so, certainly, if you go to FedBiz Ops um, or any of the um, channels where you're able to um, find um, contracting opportunities uh, with DoD or DOT. Um, other agencies within the federal government, I would um, encourage you to do that. Excuse me, if you do need help with putting together, you know, bids or um, you need information about the best way to go to submit an RFP, certainly reach out to us because we can connect you again with a lot of our technical assistance partners who can help with that. And if you're in a hub zone, um, thank you, Jimmy, for that. Um, if you're in a hub zone, um, there are a lot of programs uh, locally focused in sort of talking about hub zones or providing opportunities within hub zones. Um, so again, I think you just need to get focused on what you're looking at, um, be able to look at not only your federal resources, but your local and state resources as well. Um, as I said, for hub zones, there's also money that's out there, um, particularly if you're hiring within the hub zone. Um, so workplace development is a very um, big area. Um, and certainly if you've got a trucking company, I'm sure you'd be looking for drivers. So I think certainly there's an opportunity to be able to leverage money or to, to look at grant opportunities and or business opportunities that are available um, in those areas that are supporting um, job creation and hiring new employees. Other questions?
I know you see my eyes twitching. I'm looking at. Uh, so I'm going to give you all my email address. So that you have it. And again, it was included in the presentation as well. Okay, so if there's no other questions, I want to thank everybody for joining us today. Um, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, call the 800 number um, if you're interested in the program or to go directly and register for it online. Um, we certainly are encouraging everyone um, to participate. I think it's a great opportunity, something that we've spent you know, time building because we identified the needs um, that we're hearing not only from our lenders, but that we're hearing from all of you. And so we want to make sure that you're successful. We want you to become uh, multi-million dollar enterprises. We definitely will have a recording of this. So that will go out um, to you after this session. And I'm so um, happy to be able to speak with all of you today. Hope that you've enjoyed the presentation and uh, wish you a wonderful afternoon and a great weekend. Thanks so much.